about being being cute, close to the fight and having a safety first approach on sparring and not taking unnecessary risks in fights of this magnitude. But I'm devastated for Tyson Fury. There's nothing. The boxing world has been critical of Tyson Fury in the lead up to this fight. Carl Frock was especially skeptical about the Gypsy King returning to the boxing ring again. Alexander Yusik, meanwhile, hasn't given much thought to Fury continually postponing the fight. He has been training hard over the past year and has been collaborating with fellow heavyweights. Uh, with Vladimir, uh, yes, Vladimir uh, give me advice, yeah, but now it's secret. When Yusik was asked about whether the fight would get postponed to May 18th, Yusik had an interesting response. Have a look. Uh, no, I not think about it. This I don't. I don't think about this because uh, uh, I think uh, fight uh, will be. Alexander Yusik is confident about the fight going ahead as planned, but how are his preparations for this fight? And is the Gypsy King ready for perhaps the biggest fight of his career? Let's find out in today's video that the lead up to the Tyson Fury versus Alexander Yusik fight has been mental. The undisputed heavyweight title clash was originally supposed to take place on February 18th but was delayed after the Gypsy King sustained an unfortunate injury to his eye during a sparring session, which ruled him out of the fight for several weeks. Following this, many criticized the current WBC heavyweight champion saying that he was avoiding this fight on purpose. After all, just last year, Fury had one of the most embarrassing moments of his career as he struggled against the former UFC heavyweight champion, Francis Nanu, who was making his boxing debut. The Gypsy King was dropped by the Predator for the first time in his career and was noticeably unfit and unprepared for the bout. Therefore, many suspected that Fury was nearing the end of his career and were doubtful about the undisputed heavyweight clash taking place. Former British champion Carl Frock was especially critical when the Gypsy King Former British champion Carl Frock was especially critical when the Gypsy King sustained the injury. He criticized the conditions under which the injury occurred suggesting that such incidents should not happen in preparations for a fight of this magnitude. Frock noted Fury's decision to spar with what he described as a pumped-up middleweight, arguing that Fury should have been more cautious, especially so close to the fight date. The former super middleweight champion discussed the importance of maintaining distance and using protective gear during sparring sessions. He criticized Fury for not wearing a full face guard, which could have prevented the cut, and called the sparring session sloppy, stating that top champions like Floyd Mayweather and Canelo Alvarez have managed to avoid such incidents through careful preparation. Hey, the greatest show on earth has begun here in Saudi Arabia. The disappointment was palpable, not just for the fighters but for the boxing community and the fans eagerly awaiting the bout. He reflected on the broader implications of the fight's postponement, questioning the preparation, strategies employed by Fury's camp and the decision-making leading up to this critical point at the time. Boxing experts were busy blasting the Gypsy King for his carelessness in the lead-up to such a highly anticipated fight, but there was one person who kept his cool throughout the ongoing drama. Fury's opponent Alexander Yusik kept calm and even believed that the fight would go ahead on the rescheduled date of May 18th Yusik refused to criticize the Gypsy King and simply asserted that his opponent had run out of excuses to delay the fight again, he probably knew that Fury was would lose his golden opportunity to become an undisputed champion if he decided to create any more drama however it's worth noting that Yusik was least bothered about the drama from the outside world, he was rather focused on training and preparing for his upcoming fight during his previous interview Yusik revealed his strategy to distance himself from social media and the accompanying speculations regarding his opponent. This strategy is not just a personal preference, but a tactical move. In the high-stakes world of boxing, mental preparation is as crucial as physical readiness. By avoiding the potential distractions and provocations typically found on platforms like Instagram and X, he ensures that his mental space remains clear and focused solely on the task at hand. This approach indicates the maturity and level of professionalism that champions are made of. 
I can do KO, I do. If I not, uh, if I can uh, do 12 round, I do. The Ukrainian boxing discipline extends beyond mere training routines. It encompasses a holistic approach to preparation, including spending quality time with his family, which he views as a cornerstone of his mental and emotional stability. This balanced lifestyle is indicative of a fighter who understands the importance of maintaining a healthy mind and spirit, not just a strong body. Usyk's readiness, both mentally and physically, serves as a silent challenge to Fury. It's as if Usyk is saying, I am here prepared, undistracted, and unwavering. What's your next move? This situation places pressure on Fury to step up and commit to the fight, leaving behind the shadows of doubt and speculation that have lingered over this bout. Furthermore, Usyk's determination to see the fight materialize speaks volumes about his character in a sport where talk often overshadows action. Usyk prefers to let his preparations and commitment to the fight speak for themselves. This not only endears him to fans who yearn for athletes who walk the talk, but also adds an intriguing layer to the Fury vs. Usk narrative. During the interview, Usyk also shed some light on his preparation for the most important fight of his career. He revealed that he is training with fellow Ukrainian heavyweight Vladimir Klitschko. The Ukrainian's meticulous preparation for his showdown with Tyson Fury is a chess move that underscores the depth of his strategic thinking about aligning with Vladimir Klitschko. A former heavyweight champion who has first-hand experience with Fury Yusk is not just training. He's assimilating a wealth of knowledge and insight that could prove pivotal in fight night, Klitschko's 2015 loss to Fury. This unique case study offers lessons on both the psychological and physical sides of facing the Gypsy King. This collaboration signals Usyk's intent to leave no stone unturned in his quest for victory. The decision to bring Klitschko into his camp is a testament to Usyk's understanding of the multifaceted challenge that Fury represents with his unorthodox style and towering presence, and Mind Games is not an opponent that can be prepared for with conventional methods. Klitschko, with his extensive experience and analytical approach to boxing, brings a wealth of tactical knowledge that can help us decode Fury's complex puzzle. This partnership is not just about physical training, it's about acquiring a deeper understanding of Fury's strengths and weaknesses. Yi's confidence, seemingly bolstered by his collaboration with Klitschko, speaks volumes about his psychological readiness. It's one thing to be physically prepared for a fight, but entering the ring with a strong mental game plan is equally crucial, especially against an opponent like Fury, who thrives on unpredictability and psychological warfare. Usk's unwavering belief in the fight proceeding as scheduled despite the rumors and uncertainties highlights his focus and determination. Furthermore, this strategic edge is not merely about combating Fury's tactics, but also about enhancing Usk's own strengths, known for his agility, technical skills, and strategic mind. Usk's training with Klitschko is likely to refine these attributes further, making him a more formidable force in the ring. The partnership allows Usk to sharpen his offensive and defensive strategies, ensuring he's equipped to handle whatever fury throws his way. I've done to your mindset when you look at the fight coming in. Look, boxing fans or boxing people or any fans I suppose in sport can be quite fickle and you're as good as your last. Macklin observed that Fury appears to have an excellent physical condition for the fight, which he believes could influence the outcome. He reflected on the perception of the fight as being much closer now given USK's consecutive victories over Anthony Joshua. He also mentioned the broader context of the heavyweight division, suggesting that while Fury is a favorite, the fight is expected to be tightly contested, discussing potential future fights. Macklin speculated on the implications of the fight's outcome for Fury's career. He pondered whether a dominant victory by Fury might negate the need for an immediate rematch with Yusk and possibly set the stage for a highly anticipated match against Anthony Joshua. Macklin emphasized that while Fury might not need to prove anything further, a fight against Joshua would be significant for the fans and for solidifying Fury's legacy in this era of heavyweight boxing. The boxing world is pumped up for this fight, but do you think Yusk will have the advantage in this one? Let us know in the comments. That's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell for the latest notifications so that you never miss out on videos like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.